Hello everybody and welcome to Bull Technology. And before the video begins, yes, this is what I look like. Hello, my name is Liam Bull and I am the host of this YouTube channel, Bull Technology. Um, about a month ago, on August 10th of 2023, this YouTube channel passed 1,000 subscribers. Uh, and in the subsequent days, I became a YouTube partner. And over the past month, I have gone from 1,000 subscribers to 3,500 subscribers. Uh, and the growth has been pretty incredible for me. Now, most of that growth has come from these two Sims videos I put out. I put out a video... Um, criticizing The Sims 4, and I have another video kind of detailing some alternatives to The Sims, upcoming games, that sort of thing. Uh, the original Sims video has like 500,000 views, uh, and the second video I uploaded has like over 100,000 views. So it's, you know, it's been really incredible to see a lot of new people come to the channel. I've been getting a lot of terrific comments and getting a lot of just really great feedback. Uh, so what I wanted to do today uh, in this kind of informal video is do a kind of one, two, and 3,000 subscribers special. Uh, so that's going to be what this video is going to be. Now, if you've been around the channel for a long time, uh, a very long time ago when I passed 100 subscribers, I did a little video, a subscriber special, where I did a collection a tour, a computer collection tour. Um, and I, I put a YouTube post out, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, asking you guys what you would like to see for a subscriber special. And a majority of you picked the computer collection video, so you'd like to see another computer collection video. And because the collection has changed a little bit, I'm going to do that in this video. It's going to be toward the end. I just wanted to take a little minute to kind of personally thank everyone for sticking around uh, you maybe get to see what I look like. Um, in that YouTube post I put out where I asked you to vote on what you would like to see in terms of a special video, uh, one of my options was a Q&A, and I kind of secretly hoped that more people would choose the Q&A. Um, but if you do have any personal questions for me that you'd like to know, uh, be sure to leave a comment in this video, and I will respond to it if it's nothing too personal. And, you know, I would, I would love to get some, some questions. And, you know, maybe in the future, if I do other subscriber specials or other specials of some kind, um, I will do uh, Q&As. And so maybe that, that will be a, a future video. A few things I wanted to address in this video. Um, I did put a YouTube post out outlining upload schedule. And I don't really know how many people actually see those YouTube posts. So I wanted to address it in a video. Uh, I'm a college student and I'm pretty darn busy, so unfortunately I'm not going to have a super regimented uh, video schedule. Um, you know, I'm going to shoot for every two weeks to a month uh, is going to be, you know, kind of when you can look for a YouTube video from me, but that might be subject to change. So be sure to check out the community tab on my YouTube page where I will have posts kind of updating you as to what's going on with the channel. Um, also, I will, I'm working to create Bull Technology social media pages because the channel's growing. So uh, if those are live, I will put a link to that here and in the description so that you can follow my Bull Technology social media pages if you would like to. Overall though, I just want to thank everyone, all 3,500 of you or so, uh, for sticking around, for watching my videos, for liking them, and for all of the great comments. I've gotten so many comments that have absolutely made my day and I am committed to making content here. This is a hobby. Yes, I'm very busy, but I want to continue to upload videos. So I just wanted to say thank you all so, so much and onto the computer collection. All right, onto the computer tour. Now, I just want to apologize for the amateur nature of the first half of this video. The audio was pretty terrible and the video could have been better, but hopefully I can work on that in the future. I'm going to do this computer tour a little differently from previous computer tours. I'm just going to bring the machines in and set them on this table and talk about them rather than actually going through my room and getting these kind of awkward shots of all the different machines. So the first machine that we have here is this Macintosh SE. 
SE that I bought on Facebook Marketplace not too long ago. Um, I plan on making a video about this machine in the future and doing a, a full restoration on it, but for now just note that this is my most recent machine and I'm going to do this video kind of chronologically, so this is going to be the oldest computer that I own. Okay, this next machine is one that you've probably seen in an older video if you've been around my channel for a little while. This is my iMac G3. This is a late 90s model. It is the Indigo Blue model, and I think it's just absolutely gorgeous, and I do have the original matching keyboard and mouse. Okay, up next is my Power Macintosh G5. Now, I did a video on this previously. This is the quad-core model, and it is the fastest PowerPC Mac that Apple ever sold. I have included with this the original Apple Cinema HD display, which is still a pretty good monitor today. This next one's going to be kind of sad. So this is my 2006 first-generation 17-inch iMac, the white acrylic model. I did a video on this machine many, many years ago, and sadly, after I did that video, the logic board failed, so this is just kind of a computer carcass that s serves no real purpose, but I think it looks cool to have around. Uh, I don't have the original keyboard and mouse, but it is a unique design. Next up, we have my 2007, this is the first generation aluminum iMac. It has a Core 2 Duo. Uh, I also did a video on this machine, kind of testing its capabilities. It's still a pretty decent machine for very basic tasks, um, and I just like to keep it around as a little knock-around computer. Up next are two machines that um, I've had for some time, but I really didn't know what to do with them. You can see the reflection on the uh, glass displays there, but these are two 2011 21.5 inch iMacs. They're both quad-core i5 base model units. The, the one on the left has a, a dead logic board, and the one on the right doesn't have a hard drive, so they're pretty much just shells that I need to work on, but between the two of them, I should be able to get a working, decent unit. So, on to portable devices, and this machine here on the left is a PowerBook G3, an original PowerBook, and the one on the right is a IBM ThinkPad T41 laptop. It's my only Windows XP machine. And here we have my daily driver laptop, which is a 2020 M1 MacBook Air, and I did a video on this machine about a year ago. The last portable that I'd like to showcase is this Steam Deck that I have. I've had it for about a year now, and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video on the Steam Deck. And here we are at our last two machines, and the reason why these are in a different desk is because this is actually where I do all of my work, and so these machines are a little isolated from my computer collection, but this machine here on the left probably needs no introduction. It is a 2021 M1 MacBook Air. It's my main desktop machine that I do all of my video editing on. And the computer on the right here is my main gaming PC. Now, if you've watched this channel for a while, you'll know that a long time ago I had a Ryzen 7 1700X based system, but the logic board failed in that machine, and so I did go out and I bought a used HP gaming PC, which I know is probably going to get a lot of hate from quite a few people, but I've upgraded it, and it's a fairly decent little gaming machine. It's kind of a temporary placeholder computer until I can build a new gaming PC. So that's really it for my computer collection, and that's going to close out this video. Uh, I really want to apologize for the amateur nature of this video. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm not really good at these filming and then editing it down. I much prefer making videos where... You know, I can write up a good script, kind of a video essay, and then use stock clips to uh, convey the message that I want visually. So um, I will try to get better at um, filming and editing these videos where I'm including actual in-person clips. But uh, apart from that, I just want to thank everyone once again for sticking around, watching my videos. It means a lot to me. If you have any personal questions for me or about my computers, be sure to leave a comment in the video description. But with that in mind, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe. And thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm.